The Night Light by Jenny Jinks, illustrated by Antonella Fant. Sir Fred the Fearless was the bravest and boldest knight the kingdom had ever seen. There was no problem too big, no enemy too scary. Who's scary? At the first sign of trouble, Sir Fred would jump on his horse and off he would go. He was ready for anything, and he was always home by bedtime. Everybody thought Sir Fred was the bravest knight ever. One morning, there was there was news of a dragon causing havoc as. The far end of the kingdom. We need Sir Fred. The king declared, "Only he could r- rid the kingdom of his pest." Sir Fred arrived on his trusty horse. "Go and save our kingdom," the king ordered. "But be careful," he added in a whisper. "That dragon sounds pretty scary." "No problem. I'm not scared," Sir Fred. And off he rode, as fearless as ever. Sir Fred arrived at the far end of the kingdom. The dragon was much bigger than Fred had ever seen before. Its wings were as big as a house. It breathed fire that was hotter than the sun. But Sir Fred. But still, Sir Fred wasn't scared. He raised his sword, held his sh- shield high, and charged towards the dragon at full speed. This would many any normal beast back away, but the dragon did not move. It didn't even blink. Sir, stop! Sir Fred stopped. He would not give up that easily. He tried everything he could think of. He he made himself look bigger than putting putting on all his layers. He made himself look scarier by covering himself with mud and sticks. He he made himself louder by banging pots and pans. But still, the dragon refused to leave. It thrashed around. It thrashed around the town, knocking down buildings when its huge tail and hiccuping fire that burned everything in its path. Maybe Sir Fred made had met his match. We won't get a wink of sleep with this dragon still on the loose," the villager said. "Sleep," Sir Fred looking, said, Sir Fred said, looking up and seeing the sun setting behind the mountain. "Uh, there's nothing more I can do tonight," Sir, Sir Fred said. "Perhaps I'll come back and try again in the morning." "No," the people cried. "You can't leave." You mu- must get rid of this monster. If you don't stop it, it it'll destroy the whole ki- kingdom. Sir Fred did not like to. Did not like to let people down. Well, okay. Okay. Maybe a few. M- maybe a few more minutes. But then it really must be going. It's getting rather late, he said. The dragon hiccuped again. Sending flames shooting past, past his head. We need to put out this fire! The villager shouted. Aha! cried Sir Fred, having a great idea. That's it! Everyone fetched all the water you can. They brought buckets and pans, hoses and watering can, and watering cans. While the villagers threw the water over the burning buildings, Fred threw it all the dragon. The fire went straight out, and 
and the hiccups stopped. The dragon fl fled into the dark night. Hooray for Sid, Sir Fred, the fearless! Everyone shouted. But where, but where was Sir Fred? Then somebody stopped a bush shaking. King at the end of the town square, they peered inside, and there was Sir Fred. He was hiding. I'm s s sorry," said Sir Fred. "That's okay," the villagers said. He was a huge beast. We were all, we were all scared, but he's gone now. We were all safe thanks to you. But Sir Fred just shook his head. It's not the dragon. That's the problem, Sir. Sir Fred said sadly. It's the d d dark. Everyone gasped. Gasped. Sir Fred, are you afraid of the dark? They asked that him. Poor Sir Fred just nodded. How had nobody realized before? They had to do something to help him. The villagers took Sir Fred inside. You can stay here, they told him. Get some rest, Sir Fred. Fred settled down in a bed by the fire with a mug of hot chocolate. He began to feel much better, but but then he started to feel embarrassed. Sir was a knight. He shouldn't be afraid. Nobody would trust. Him to keep them safe any more now that they knew his secret. When the villagers woke up the next morning, Sir Fred was gone. All that left was a note. I'm sorry, Fred. We must find him. The villagers said. They searched him and lo. Finally, they found Fred leaving the kingdom, carrying all of his things with him. Where are you going? I asked. I have to go. I can't be the be a knight any more. You will. You will all be better off without me. But you are Sir. But you are Sir Fred the Fearless. You you fight the fear fiercest beasts. And keep us safe. We need you. But what us? But what you? Who's is a knight who's afraid of the dark? Sobbed Sir Fred. We don't care about it. The villagers told him. Everybody is afraid of something. Fred couldn't believe it. They still liked him. Just then, some people rode up behind him, them on horses. It was the king. My messengers, tell me, tell me, we have a bit of a problem. The king said, looking straight at Sir at Sir Fred. I have to come to do something about it. Sir Fred bowed his head. He knew what was coming. He was good to lose his job. But the king pulled out a present for Sir Fred. Open it, the king smiled. Sir Fred opened the present. Inside was a shield. This is not just any shield, the king said. This is, this shield has been enchanted, so that it will go, it will glow, bright. Oh, brightly in the dark, your, your very own knight, light. You can take it with you. You wherever you go, and you will never have to be in the dark again. Sir Fred couldn't believe it. Thank you, he said. A night light. He. He was just what he needed. It. From then, Sir Fred was always 
ready to defend and the kingdom from an, any enemy day or night. He might not be Sir Fred, Sir Fred the Fearless anymore, but he was still the bravest ki knight in the kingdom has ever seen. Mm -hmm.